All right, in this video, I'm going to step you through core data CRUD from beginning to end. Soup to nuts, I guess they call that, right? Um, and CRUD is create, retrieve, update, delete, right? All right, so I'm going to start with a new project. I know I've had this project that I've done um, for a while where I was retrieving data from the web and uh, doing some core data stuff with this, which was really cool. I think um, hopefully you guys found, found that helpful, but this one is like uh, everything you need to know in one project for starting and completing a uh, core data database, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start fresh with you. I'm gonna create a new project. We're gonna go single view. We'll call it core data crud. And we're going to do this in Swift. Make sure you check core data. Hit next. And save it where you like to save your files. And I'm going to, I have this little step by step tutorial that I will share with you. It has all the code, um, everything you'll need to go. Even if you don't watch this video, you can just step through with this um, file. Okay. And so we're going to go to storyboard. Um, First thing I'm going to do in here is uncheck auto layout. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to add a table view. Let me, I'm going to make this so you can see my whole screen so I'm not hiding anything from you. That. And we'll go to table. And we're going to drop a table view in here. Keep it small, that's fine. At the top there, and I'm gonna add a table cell. And we're going to um, call that my cell in the identifier over here. All right. Um, let's make that a right detail cell. And yeah, that's good. Um, oh, then the, la the other thing you wanna do with the table is drag up to the top here, and we're gonna make it the data source and the delegate. Perfect. Let's see what I have for myself here. Check. Oh, two text fields we're going to add. Okay. Text field one. Add a little bit. Text field two. Keep that one small. So this one, we're going to just keep data on a person, we're going to have a name and the age, and that's it, okay? Um, and so I'm going to go up to this one, I'm going to say name, and clear when editing begins, and then over here we'll say age, clear when editing begins, all right, and let's get ourselves a button, throw a button over here, and this will say add. Okay, so we hit that when we want to add the information to our core data database. Cl click on a little circle up here, we get the split screen. I always like to kind of put the view did load below it. So we're going to go um, T name for text field name. And we'll do TH. Okay, uh, I'm just going to call this table view, put a capital V, perfect, and I'm going to get out of, I actually, you know what, I'm going to need this to be an action, Let's say, um, add data, oh, shoot, I messed that up. Wanted that to be an action. Add data. Connect. Perfect. Uh, let's get out of split screen now. Let's make sure my outlet's okay. Looks good. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go ahead in our core data database file here. And we're going to add an entity. And we're going to call this person. And we're going to add two attributes. One's going to be name. And we're going to make that string. And then one's going to be age. 
and we're going to make that integer 16. All right, so age and name. And so you want to create your managed um, your um, managed object, which to do that, you're going to go to File, New, File. And we can just make it a Swift file. I'm going to go Next, and we're going to call it Person. And hit Create. And great. So now we have that, that person file. And like I said, I have a lot of the code here. So I'm going to grab the code and replace what's in here with that. And so basically this, this is how you manage your um, database. You know, we use this file to control these fields. This is a simple one that just has two, two fields, name and age, right? <clears throat> and it's um, the name of the entity is person. So that's what we call this. All right, so we're done with that. Oh, we need to put import core data at the top of our view controller. That's Swift right there. Um, we're going to add this private variable, which is a, uh, this is going to be our array for um, managing our managed objects, basically. Um, although this is left over from my old project. This should say person. Let me change that so that when you download this file, it says person for you as well. There we go. We did it's already right detail. Um, create IB action called insert. We called ours add data. That's fine. Um, call the add to database function, which uh, that is going to be. That's what we're going to call, but let me give you the code it's right here. Actually, I'm just going to grab both of these because we're going to need both of them. And I'll explain what they are. Let me go down. I'm going to get rid of, we shouldn't need that did receive memory, so I'm going to get rid of that. But right before, I'm going to, I always like to comment that end of class, so I don't delete that because everything's got to be inside of that. Pasting that here, so I just I just um, inserted two methods. One, the called add to database. This is basically going to um, this is going to it does exactly what it says. It's going to add elements to our database. We want to call this, and so basically how this is going to work: whatever we type into our text fields is going to get inserted into our my items managed object and then that will be saved into our database this line okay and then we at the very end of this method everything works and it doesn't have an error we um, call the get data function right here and what that does is it basically grabs everything from the database and when we sort it by age and um, then we create that sort descriptor descriptor and then we grab all that information, save it to our my items um, variable, and then we use that for, for our tables. I'm going to show you the table delegate methods in a second. Um, all right, so that as of right now, we have what we need to add to the database and then retrieve from it. So we got the um, the, the C and the R, the create and the retrieve, right? Um, oh, this is an important step too that I probably, if you watch any of my other videos, you notice that I included that. You click on your database file, then you come on over here, and you got to make sure that whatever you have in here is in here as well, or it won't work. It's such so bizarre. All right, and we're going back to our view controller, and we need to add our delegate methods. And so I'm going to grab all these delegate methods, copy them, and paste them in the bottom here. I'll even I'll make a little I like to make a little separation here to say that hey, table stuff below, all right? Just so we know what's going on. All right, so this is the number of rows selected. Um, the, basically, this just sets up the table for us, and the information that's going to be in the table are, is from the My Items array, 
and we're going to look at each um, each spot and get the name and the age displayed. Okay, so this should work right now. That when I um, start this project, which we'll, we'll start it in the emulator, run this database. Um, we've, if we run this, the database should connect. So I've actually already added a few in there. So when I hit add here, you'll see a bunch will appear. So we'll say um, Ray, age uh, 22, add. And so he's added to the list of other people that I have added in there already. So if you want it to appear already on the screen, all we have to do is in the view did load, you're going to um, make sure you call your get data method. Get data, save that. So now when we run it, we should see the data loaded in the table on entry of the page. Bam, there you go. All right, so that's enough for right now. Um, in the next one, I'll, I'll show you the uh, updating and deleting. Um, we'll do that by just kind of clicking on it and it will um, be able to update and delete. All right, thank you.